Hey guys, and welcome to another video. This video will be episode 0 of Vagum's Chance Go Up with Udeldor. Hey, Corianje! Hello! So, um, today we will be starting our new multiplayer let's play on the Vagum Stance mod pack, which is, as the name would suggest, created by a friend of ours named Vagum, which is pretty cool. And we're pretty excited about that. Um, we are quite sad that our previous series that we did a co-op on, which was Utopia, ended so early. So we decided to start a new co-op let's play with just the two of us and not a full server, so pretty much we have full control of everything. And yeah, we'll just hope to have a fun let's play, have a blast, do cool stuff, explode stuff, and just do cool stuff. Cool things and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> loads of mods to mess around with. Yes, exactly. So, for those that don't know this mod pack, um, Frequent Chance is a mod pack created by, like I already said, uh, Vagrim on Minecraft 1.7.10. Um, I believe it was created um, fully by his mind of balancing. So, pretty much what he thinks works best in the mod pack is all, of course, created in this. And yep. in my opinion, and I think also in Udellos, this is quite a nice combination of mods. For example, if I can show you guys in not enough items, we got mods like Blood Magic to add that little bit touch of magic, uh, Bibliocraft, for example, to uh, get a little touch of aesthetic purposes. Uh, we got Buildcraft for a tech mod, um, Ender IO, Extra Utilities, um, let's see, uh, Chisel, also a very nice aesthetic mod that we are currently running at. Uh, let's quickly scroll through this, a lot of pages. Yeah, uh, Forge mods. Microblocks. Forge Microblocks is also, of course, a mod that is unmissable in any modern day mod pack that runs Forge. Uh, we got Jebba, which is always an amazing mod to store stuff in. Mechanism, one of the famous tech mods out there. Um, let's see, uh, we got Open Blocks, which is one of my favorite random items mods. <laughs> then we got Project Red, which is something I'm really excited about, since uh, the last few Let's Plays that I did didn't have this mod. So we can do some very awesome, cool redstone trickery. And I believe this even adds a few other cool additions, like sorting. So that's pretty cool. We got uh -huh. Project E, which... Well, oh, yes. <laughs> this is just the mod that I'm one of the most excited things about. Yeah. Because, uh, for those that don't know it, um, there used to be a mod called Equivalent Exchange 2, which came out, I believe, end of beta, or Equi Equivalent Exchange 1 came out end of beta, yep. and Equivalent Exchange 2 came out early release, I believe, of Minecraft itself. And pretty much it is about um, blocks that you have a specific value, called an EMC value, which I think, I think stands for Energy Matter Conversion or something like that. Uh, currency. Currency, ah, right, yes. yes. And pretty much this allows you to transmute items into other items that have the same value or combine a lot of items with low values, to turn them into high values and the other way around. And yeah. this also adds a bunch of other cool um, rings and armor and bands and tools and ma EMC generation stuff. <laughs> and this is just going to be so awesome. Yeah, just to uh, indicate how overpowered the mod is, it adds an item called a repair talisman that will repair all your tools for free at a pretty quick speed as well. That's how OP the mod is. Yes. Pretty much. And don't forget, we also got ourselves a catalytic lens, which allows one <laughs> to pretty much dig out an area. I believe it's 3x3x64, three by three by just yeah. with a click of a button, and all these items will be teleported to you. So that's just a quick <laughs> example of something that this mod can do. So I'm really excited that this mod got ported to 1710. Very cool. Yes. Then we also got Random Things, which is also a very nice random items mod. Uh, we got Refined Relocation, uh, Flexbeard's Steam Power, which I have not yet messed around with, but I'm sure we will be doing that. Uh, we got Steve's Cards, an old favorite of mine that allows you to make cards, of course. We got Storage Drawers, which is also very nice. A little addition that allows you to store things. Um, I guess I can compare it a little bit to Java, but then... A little bit different. It's it's kind of like a mix of Bibliocraft and Jabba, I'd say. Yes, pretty cool. Then we got my all-time favorite magic mod, which is, of course, as you could know from my previous Let's Play, Tomcraft. And with Tomcraft, we got ourselves the add-on Tomic Tinkerer, which is awesome. We got the Tubes mod, which is always nice. Uh, the Twilight Forest, yay for dimensions. Yay! Yoo-hoo! 
Then we got a bunch of pages with chisel stuff. Um, we got the crafting pillars mod, which is just awesome for showcasing all the cool things. Um, dimensional storage, which is something I believe Vagram also spotlighted, so that's pretty pretty awesome mod. Pretty much sort of ender chest type of mod. We got Erebus, which I am not sure what that mod is, but I am sure we will find some cool uses for it. As you can see, it adds a bunch of items that I have no idea what to do I, yet. I believe that's also uh, a new dimension mod, so that's that's pretty cool. Ooh, yes, like things like bio velocity and supernatural velocity and repellent and all yeah. cool stuff. I have no idea what it adds. <laughs> Me neither. But it's gonna be cool. Yeah. Um, of course. How can we play a mod pack without having a bunch of different seeds and plants and foods? We got Pam's Harvest Craft. So cool. Over eight pages. No, no, no. That's over exaggerated. Five pages full of food and seeds and all different kinds of dishes we can make. So that's going to be cool. And then, uh, last but not least, or almost last, we got Deco Craft, which is courtesy of the Amazing Rats. Awesome, cool models. Around three pages worth of those on my screen. We got Richery, also a very nice magic mod. And I think that's pretty much it for the mod list. Did I miss anything really important? I do not think you missed anything important, no. And of awesome. course, you know, we have these really small mods as well, like uh, just look, looking through here, we've got mods like Ender Utilities, but those mainly add like convenience items. But just the mods Corianche just uh, spoke about, that's, well, quite a lot to do. Yes. So, um, I hope you guys are just as excited as we are, because, uh, well, we have been talking about doing something together for quite a while, and now we finally had the opportunity to do so, so that's pretty cool. And we also did quite a lot of measures to make this series as smooth as possible. Uh, one of the mods that we got installed is FastCraft to um, increase our frame rate. Um, as you can currently see, I'm around 140 frames per second while recording and hosting the server on my own PC, so that will make this series very, very smooth. I also generated using the admin, admin's toolbox or command box or something like that. From It's from uh, Professor Mobius, I believe, so yeah. Yep. You should know that mod if you're a server admin. I generated uh, an area from minus 16,000 to 16,000 in each direction. <laughs> so that's over 4 million chunks. Yeah. So I don't expect we would need to ever, like totally ever, uh, explore that far away. So we probably won't be having any generation lag. Um, and for of course for those who have not figured it out yet, yes, we are currently playing on the amplified biome mode. Yeah, <laughs> that's why we got these amazing freaking biomes like mountains and rivers and yeah, I just can't imagine making beautiful mountain houses and things coming from the side of this and yeah, it's going to be amazing. And this is a forest biome. Yes, just imagine <laughs> us living in a extreme hills biome, just bringing from bedrock to the world height houses or yeah. mountains <laughs> <laughs> but yeah we're gonna have a blast so um anything else i should add to that or uh i don't think so uh all the information about the pack you can find links to that in the descriptions as well as links to uh well each other's channels so uh it's gonna be cool you can find all the information there if you're interested it's a casual fun mod pack. Uh, I'd say it's something for everyone. Everyone can play this pack. And we are going to have loads of fun. Yes, we will. So I guess we mean we'll be signing off here. So uh, thanks for watching. Like Kidalo said, all the links will be in the description below. So you can check that out. Um, probably you can also follow us on our social media. Uh, subscribe to both of our channels to stay up to date with both of our perspectives. And yeah, it's going to be cool stuff. So I hope to see you guys all next time. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching and hope you guys enjoyed the videos, like them, and we will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye bye. Hey there you. Thanks for watching the entire video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to support me, please consider following me on Twitter and supporting me on Patreon. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as liking the video. Again, thanks for watching.